Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus. Today is going to be the day that we go over light filters, specifically in Arnold's area light. Uh, in a previous tutorial, we went over all the attributes of the area light provided by Arnold, and this time we're going to go over an extra attribute, which is called light filters. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to click on add, and you'll see that there's two of them. There's a light blocker and a light decay. Let's take a look at the add blo uh, the blocker. And in the middle of your scene, you're going to notice a little red cube. That is, and I'm going to stop this for now. Uh, that is your light blocker, which means that it's going to cause a shadow. So let's see what type of effect it has. I'm going to move this down. And it's intersecting this sphere and it's intersecting the ground. So when I press play, you're going to notice nothing's really happened. And the reason why is because of the density. Right now, the density is at zero. I'm going to crank it up and you're going to start seeing right here that it starts to block the light. And if I go all the way to one, you literally get blocked light. There is no light going around. This area right here, notice that you do still get reflections, but no specularity, and uh, you do get some bounced light, so indirect lighting. There is, notice that there is an axis and there is X, Y, and Z. Uh, the only way you're gonna be able to see that is if I create a ramp. If I start increasing the ramp, and I'm gonna have to rotate my camera so you guys can see, You'll notice that there is, uh oh, you'll notice that it's starting to create a gradient based on the X. So this is at zero ramp, and this is, uh, let's say, point around 0.5. You can see that there is a gradient. So this is going to give you a lot of control over your scene if you need to block light. So let's say if we wanted to do Y, and as you can imagine, the ramp's going to go up and down and it starts to fade away. Let's bring this back down. So the next is height, edge. The height edge just means that it's going to start softening the edges. We don't see too much of an impact on height edge because of the way it's, uh, it's placed. However, if I go to my width edge, you'll notice that it actually softens that transition. So instead of being a perfect square, which is a little distracting, uh, you can always soften and give it that smoothness, the transition. All right, so we I moved this a little bit down so you can see the impact on it, but uh, what I wanted to show you is the height edge. This is going to impact the height edge of the shadow box. So take a look at that nice clean line right there. It's a little too clean. If I increase the height edge, you'll notice that it cre cre creates a gradient. And then the roundness... All right, so I changed the box a little bit, but to see the roundness, you really you the impact that you'll see it is in plane. When you have plane, it creates a obviously a plane where you can use it to block the light. I'll get a little closer just so you guys can see that edge. I'm trying to get you to see that edge right there. You can increase the roundness and you're going to notice that it actually rounds out the shape of the light blocker. So it's up to you if you want to use plane, but uh, otherwise using a box, for example, um, the roundness doesn't work. But it does give you uh, control over the height. Um, it gives you control over the width. This is really nice because the purpose of this is that uh, you can block light if you need it. And this happens a lot in the industry where there's going to be a hot spot and you're just trying to get rid of it. Well, you can control that by using the density and just blocking it out. Um, it's very convenient. Um, let's talk about the shader. The shader is actually really interesting. What it's going to do is actually use a uh, texture to block the light. So I'm going to go in here, click on this, maybe stop this because I have a feeling my computer's chugging. Let's go to the little folder and I have an image. You guys can just download this yourselves. Um, got a tree mask. And once you plug it in, you'll notice that it actually acts like a blocker and it treats, it gives you a shader. So let's go ahead and scale this up, which is interesting because what you can do with this is um, this because it's chugging. You can use this to fake shadows outside of your scene. So if you're trying to, instead of modeling a whole tree, you can in fact just model have a shader or a texture attached to it and then you can desaturate the density and then the light will just block it. So it's basically faking it and faking these type of shadows which would be which is fantastic because then that way you can just, uh, it's very similar to a gobo except that it's blocking a particular area and it will only impact the box. Just be careful. Hello. 
just be careful because um, it will do a repeating texture. So if your box isn't big enough, it will uh, create a repeating texture. So that's actually pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> so, um, but it does give you some control over your scene and the shader. All right, so that is a explanation of the light blocker for the Arnold area lights. Um, some of the other lights actually do have these things. So just take a look at the light filters and add them and you'll notice that there's a lot of things that you can add as well. Uh, let's go ahead and disconnect this blocker and now it's going to clear out our scene back to default. Uh, thank you again for listening. I really appreciate all of your support. Please subscribe and also visit me at academicphoenixplus.com where you can actually download this file for free. I don't think I mentioned it at the beginning, um, but you can download it for free so you can follow along. And um, there's a lot of other things there as well. Free downloads, uh, eBooks and uh, videos about how to get a job in industry and a bunch of other resources. So uh, thank you again for listening. I really appreciate it and uh, keep lighting and I will see you next time.